Each character, from Pincus and the Pig, is depicted by a particular instrument from the band. Pincus is depicted by the clarinet. The Boyd by the Piano. The Duck by the Trombone. The Cat by the Banjo. The Grandfather by the Tuba. The pig by the trombone and the tuba playing together. The hunter shots are depicted by the drum. So listen, darlings, and enjoy. Did you hear of Boychik Pincus? How he opened wide the gate and hippity hopped over the sweet, warm meadow. <laughs> On the branch of a big old tree, a little boy sat, quetching away. Oi, vey, oi, God in him, all the gate is open. Is Pinkus looking to get killed again? Surely Chaza, a devil pig, and his gang of schmutzige vile schwein will patch poor Pinkus into chopped liver. Rush! Quack the big, plump, cranky duck as he waddled through the gate 
A cry baby body is no better than a dumb bunny. I am going for a swim in the meadow pond. <laughs> Flapping furiously, the little boy D nosedived and ruffled up the dog's fine feathers. What kind of dizzy duck are you? Hello! Leaving the gate open. You looking to die too? The dog hissed. Whatever, loser. And Birdie screeched. You should only sink to the bottom like a stone. While Doc hollowed back, look who's talking. The flying clots. <laughs> <laughs> The cat crawling flat through the grass. The cat pulled. That sour ball Brody is so busy arguing, he'll never know what hit him. Me? Just a quick grab. She flattened herself to a shadow, her velvet claws twitching. Got in himmel, cried Pinkus, look out! And the body squawk give out and flew frantically up into the old tree. While the dog splashed in the pond, quacking crazily at the cat. around the base of the tree thinking 
Not worth climbing high for that silly boy. He'll only fly. Besides, probably, he'll give me a belly ache. Pinky's grandfather Zeta came out angrily shaking his walking stick at Pinky's schlum meal. Are you looking for that schlub, Chaza, to come and clobber you again? <laughs> Pinkus was not afraid of a dumb chaza. But he wisely took Zayda's hand and let himself be schlepped home, making sure to lock the gate after them. No sooner had they disappeared inside than a giant chaza pig, fat, bristly, and altogether disgusting, jumped out of the forest. Fa! He smelled bad, too. <laughs> cat scooted up the tree. The frightened, frazzled dog puddle jumped right out of the pond. Schlamazel dog waddled away. She could not escape this very chaza who caught up and oy, swallowed her in one verstunkene gulp. <laughs> So 
now, this is how things stood. The cat pressed tight on one branch. The body shivering on another. The repulsive porker rattling and shaking the tree with all his might. Pinkus, remembering the terrible beating he took from this monster pig, standing bravely behind the lock gate, watching everything. <laughs> home, found a strong rope, and climbed up the high stone wall. But at the branches of the old tree stretched out over the wall, a chazer stomped and hacked the poor trunk. Grabbing hold of the branch, Pinkus climbed onto the tree and whispered to the bird, Fly down and tease the pig by circling his head. Take care that he doesn't eat you up. The little birdie babbled, Are you me sugar? Risk my life for what? Hush, no dick grumbled Pinkus, staring hard at the bird, until he sighed and did as he was told. Birdie buzzed Chaza's head with the wings while the pig charged this way and that. Mr. Pig squealed with rage how he wanted to catch that annoying bird. But the bird, feeling clever and brave for the first time ever, swooped low over the pink-eyed porker, chirping, Muzzle Tov, Bubala! <laughs> Meanwhile, Pinkus made a lasso and slowly letting it down. <laughs> Caught Chaza by his tight piggy-viggy tail and pulled hard. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now, the trapped Chaza panicked and hurled this way on that, desperately trying to free himself. But Pink is tied the other end of the rope to the tree. And the pigs tossing about only made the rope around his fallen tail tighten. <laughs> Suddenly, Cossacks sprang out of the woods, following the stinky pig's trail and shooting at everything. Pinkus, sitting on the tree, cried out, Hey, you, Schmendrix, stop shooting everything already. Brady and I have just caught Chaza, so help us take him to the non-kosher butcher. <laughs> Imagine the triumphant procession. Pink is leading. Bigger happy Cossacks dragging the screaming, snorting Chaza! Zayda sadly shook his head. Ah, ah, and if Chaza ate my pinkus, what then, I ask you? So don't ask, 
please. The cat sneered under his breath. Chiping merrily. Pinkers of me, oh, look what we got. Who would have believed it could all play out so well? Why was I scared? Listen very carefully. You can faintly hear the dog quacking in the pig's belly. Bravo, Pinkus! Because the greedy hog in his big hurry has followed her alive. Thank you. 
Thank you.